hate TPT sellers, here is the controversial TPT SEO thought of the day. I'm going to share it with you. It's going to go against everything you think you know about TPT. If you told me this last year, I would have disagreed completely, but I have data to show and I'm excited to hear what you think about it. So the biggest single factor in ranking on TPT SEO is not earnings and it's not reviews. But this is just my thought for today. And what I love about TPT SEO is we all have a tiny piece of the puzzle and the puzzle is constantly changing and no one knows the secret sauce, except for the engineers who work on the TPT search algorithm. I used to think that the number one ranking factor would have been earnings, right? Because it makes sense. If you have a product that has sold a lot, let's show that to other people because it sold a lot. But I have data today that's gonna show that's not true. Because if it was earnings alone, then whatever sold more would show up at the top. And we don't always see that. So then the next big theory is that reviews are the biggest single factor in TPT SEO. Because if you have a lot of reviews, then that should rank higher than a resource that has fewer reviews, right? And today I'm going to show you data that goes against that idea. So what I think is the single biggest factor in TPT SEO ranking is earnings potential. The likelihood that that resource is going to sell and how much money will it bring in based on that probability. So I haven't really figured this out yet. I'm looking for input from the SEOTpreneur YouTube community. So if you're still watching right now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this theory. But I think all things being equal, the price of the resource times how well your store does is the biggest single factor in ranking on TPT. This goes against how I think TPT SEO works because I'm coming to TPT SEO from the perspective of Google SEO. And in Google SEO, each page on a website is completely separate from the other pages. So yes, a website's a collection of pages. And sure, there are internal links and those are ranking factors. But just because your website ranks well, it doesn't mean that all pages will rank well in that website. The rank for each page is calculated separately based on some data that I'm going to show you in a second, I think that the earning potential of a resource is a higher ranking factor than how much that resource has actually made so far. And I think earning potential is a bigger deal than the number of reviews you have or the quality of reviews. I think earnings potential is the price of the resource times this magical store factor that I haven't narrowed down yet exactly but I'm looking forward to hearing the comments. Basically, my theory is if your store is doing well, then TPT thinks, okay, well, it, it must be a good store. Therefore, this resource from you probably has this halo effect from your store doing well. If you're like me, you think that you can control the SEO of your product because it's determined based on the earnings that product has made and the number of reviews that you're able to get and your keyword position in the title or the number of keywords you have in the product description. And yes, those are all important SEO factors. But what I'm now realizing is if my other resources sell well, then this TPT resource will get a boost. And likewise, if my other resources start to tank, then this TPT resource will also start to tank. So let's look at an example. This was being recorded Monday, April 8th, but We've just passed midnight, so now it's Tuesday, April 9th. This is my second TPT store. I mentioned the date because some of my videos were recorded a while ago and I just haven't published them yet. If I look at my TPT dashboard, if I look at all time, I have around $100 in earnings. Thank you so much to the 36 people who have bought one of my resources. I love that you got a fantastic deal. I've got some exciting tools that are coming into the ultimate bundle. If I look at total earnings, and if I show you my entire store here, I only have one resource that has sold, and that is the ultimate bundle. In terms of views, the ultimate bundle is second place with 250 views. It is my highest paid resource views. The next biggest one with views is the TPT Seller Mindset course with 69 views. So based on earnings, I would expect my TPT seller ultimate bundle to be number one. But if I go to my store page and I scroll down to best sellers, my ultimate bundle is number two. And my number one resource, according to TPT in terms of best sellers, is this TPT seller mindset course that sells for $79.75. Why is it so expensive? Because if you have to pay someone minimum wage to watch all the video content in that resource, that's how much you'd have to pay them. So a couple of assumptions. 
I'm assuming that the search algorithm that we use at the top in the search bar is the same algorithm that TPT uses to sort our resources. And from a computer perspective, it makes sense to use the same code. The simplest answer is usually the correct answer. So if we look at our product listings as a secret glimpse into the TPT search algorithm formula, then anytime we see an outlier, it's kind of an opportunity for us to try to figure out, well, why is that an outlier? If we were to sort this by reviews alone, both the mindset course and the ultimate bundle both have a five star rating, but the ultimate bundle has six reviews. So if the number of reviews was the biggest factor for ranking on TPT, then we would expect the ultimate bundle to be higher because it has six reviews, but that's not the case. Likewise, if we think that earnings is the biggest factor for ranking on TPT, then we would expect the ultimate bundle with $98 of sales to be ranked higher. So it's a little bit odd. Sometimes you have a bestseller that's ranked higher, even though it's never sold before. And that must have to do with the price of the resource itself. So here's what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, if you have experiences that sort of support this or refute this. I think the TPT search algorithm is basically saying, look, here's this resource from the seller that sold 36 times. It seems like the resources are selling. So you know what? Even though this other resource hasn't sold at all, Based on the store, I mean, this seller seems to know how to create resources. The store seems to be producing good content. So you know what? I think this is probably going to sell. And even if just one of these sells, 79.75, the earnings of that is way higher than the earnings from selling the ultimate bundle, which is just six bucks. So if the probability of making a sale is equal, then I'm going to list this resource that's 80 bucks. I'm going to list it first because it's going to generate more revenue. So that's why I think earnings potential is the price of the resource times the store mystery factor times the probability that it'll sell. And that's based on how well your other resources sell. So what's the takeaway here? It means the sales of your other products have an impact on all of your TPT resources. This means if you have seasonal products that sell really well, then that'll create a bump in your TPT SEO for your evergreen resources. So then that makes me wonder, you know how sometimes we sell a resource that's completely out of season? I wonder if that happens because our store is doing well, so all of our resources are getting bumped up. And then there's this one person who's looking for Christmas resources and it's not Christmas time and your resource is a little bit higher, and so that's the one that they buy. But there's a flip side to this conversation. You might have an evergreen resource that used to sell well, but maybe because your store selling probability rate is going down because your other resources aren't selling as well, then maybe that's going to cause a dropping effect on all of your TPT SEO ranking. You haven't done anything different with your keywords. The search algorithm hasn't changed. What's changed is how often people buy your other resources. And because that went down, your store went down and therefore all of your TPT resources start to go down. So then it's like a snowball effect. So this snowball effect can work in both ways. This is confirmation bias for me. This reinforces the idea I have of only selling on one teacher marketplace because then that snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Now I was chatting with another TPT seller and they had this great idea about listing on different places to get visibility, to start to build their brand. And I thought that was a neat approach. So for me, the biggest takeaway is that TPT SEO isn't just refined to one product. It's actually based on your whole store. That's the thought that I'm playing with right now. And obviously it's not as simple as that because if you have a lot of sales on that resource, well then that resource is going to rank a lot higher than someone who doesn't have a lot of sales. I remember chatting with a seller who's been around for a while and they sort of alluded to the fact that they can put out new content now and it just doesn't do as well as it used to. And I think they were talking about how well this market saturated, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I haven't figured it out entirely yet. So now it's your turn. Do you have an example of a resource that hasn't sold at all, but it ranks higher than a resource that has sold? And if that's the case, does this idea of price times a store factor explain why those products are ranked in the order that they are? 
Or do you have another theory that might explain why a resource that has never sold is higher than a resource that has sold a lot? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're looking for free coaching, check out this video and you'll see how Class of Excellence won free coaching. This video is what YouTube thinks you'll likely click on because it's a suggested video. And if you learn something new, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.